In a groundbreaking revelation that reverberated throughout the boxing community, the legendary figure, Mike Tyson, has spoken out after a period of silence regarding the tumultuous saga surrounding Ryan Garcia's departure from Oscar De La Hoya's camp to join Mayweather's TMT promotions. Known for his candid nature, Mike Tyson emphatically expressed his views on the controversy, asserting that Garcia's decision to cut ties with De La Hoya's team and join Mayweather's esteemed TMT promotions Emotions was the right move. Tyson's endorsement holds tremendous significance in the boxing world due to his iconic status and extensive experience in the ring. Tyson's remarks subtly approve of Garcia's decision, indicating that the shift to Mayweather's stable could serve as a strategic and advantageous career move for the young and promising fighter. The endorsement from someone as esteemed as Tyson adds significant validation to Garcia's transition, potentially shaping the opinions of fans, fellow fighters, and pundits alike. In a recent interview that shook the boxing community, Mike Tyson didn't hold back in criticizing Oscar De La Hoya's handling of Ryan Garcia's career. Tyson drew parallels between De La Hoya's tactics and those of the infamous boxing promoter Don King, expressing concerns about De La Hoya's increasingly controlling and demanding management style, and even going so far as to dub De La Hoya as the new Don King. De La Hoya is behaving similarly to Don King by attempting to exert excessive control, but it's not proving successful for him. Tyson's critique revolves around the perception that De La Hoya, once highly revered in the boxing realm, has adopted tactics reminiscent of Don King's forceful and self-promotional approach. According to Tyson, De La Hoya's insistence on imposing terms, such as opponent choices and contract structures, significantly contributed to the contentious split with Ryan Garcia. The interview highlighted De La Hoya's purported inability to accommodate Garcia's growing ambitions and his desire for greater independence in shaping his career. Tyson's remarks underscore the shifting power dynamics in contemporary boxing, where fighters are increasingly asserting control over their destinies, seeking promotions that align with their objectives and principles. Garcia, being a prominent star, rightfully deserves more influence in directing his career. Tyson's statements echo a widespread sentiment among the boxing community, indicating that tolerating De La Hoya might not be necessary. They reflect a growing belief that De La Hoya's management approach might be outdated in a sport where fighters now hold more sway over their career paths. This shift has opened avenues for successful independent promoters to offer alternatives to established giants like Golden Boy and Top Rank. In Tyson's view, De La Hoya seems poised to lag behind in the evolving landscape of boxing, failing to adapt to the changing times. Ryan Garcia's decision to part ways with Golden Boy Promotions and align himself with Floyd Mayweather's TMT Promotions signifies a crucial juncture in his burgeoning boxing journey. This move represents a significant shift and potential turning point in Garcia's career trajectory. The surprising decision has reverberated throughout the boxing community, particularly considering Garcia's lengthy affiliation with Golden Boy since his teenage years. The rupture between Ryan Garcia and Golden Boy Promotions is entrenched in a turbulent series of allegations and grievances voiced by the young fighter. At the heart of his discontent lies a damning accusation of blatant mismanagement by Golden Boy, wherein Garcia contends that the company exploited his exceptional talent by unfairly claiming a significant portion of his earnings. Garcia's frustration primarily stems from what he perceives as a financial injustice, as he was dismayed to discover that that Golden Boy was withholding a substantial portion of the money he had rightfully earned through his hard work. As per Garcia's claims, the company was taking an excessive portion, reportedly up to 60% of his fight earnings, leaving him with a notably small share of the compensation he rightfully earned from his efforts in the ring. Alongside financial grievances, Garcia's dissatisfaction extends to the promotional side of his career. He accuses Golden Boy of inadequately promoting his fights, expressing concerns about the company's dedication to showcasing his talents on a significant platform. Additionally, Garcia contends that interference in his training routine and decision-making processes strained his relationship with the team, ultimately leading to an irreparable divide between him and his former promoters. Furthermore, Garcia alleges that Golden Boy didn't limit their involvement to financial matters, but also intruded into critical aspects of his career. He asserts that the company imposed his training routine and offered unwanted advice on fight strategies, encroaching upon his independence as a fighter and disregarding his own expertise and preferences. 
These various grievances led Garcia to cut ties with Golden Boy, seeking a more supportive and empowered promotional relationship. His choice to align with Floyd Mayweather's TMT promotions signifies a strong statement about his pursuit of increased control over his career and improved representation in the boxing world. Mike Tyson has contributed his influential voice to discussions surrounding Ryan Garcia's departure from Golden Boy promotions to join Floyd Mayweather's TMT promotions. Tyson not only backs Garcia's decision but also lauds it as a wise choice for both his career advancement and personal development. Tyson praises Garcia for taking charge of his future by breaking away from a potentially restrictive promotional structure. In Tyson's perspective, transitioning to TMT promotions will offer Garcia the freedom, backing, and guidance essential to unlock his complete potential as a boxer. According to Tyson, Ryan, being a young and skilled fighter, requires a supportive environment where he can nurture his abilities and have the autonomy to make crucial decisions. Tyson highlighted that TMT promotions represent an ideal setting for Garcia to thrive. He mentioned that Floyd Mayweather, being an exceptional mentor, will assist Ryan in evolving into the finest boxer he can possibly be. Additionally, Tyson recognizes the broader impact of Garcia's move in reshaping the power dynamics within the boxing realm. He observes a trend where fighters are assuming control of their careers and advocating for equitable treatment from promoters. In a significant announcement that has resonated throughout the boxing community, TMT Promotions has officially confirmed that Ryan Garcia's next opponent will be Shakur Stevenson. This highly anticipated showdown between two of the sport's most promising young talents has been eagerly awaited by fans for months, and now it seems that the much-desired matchup is finally set to materialize. The revelation of this fight represents a significant triumph for TMT Promotions, signaling the company's dedication to presenting high-caliber matchups to its audience. This blockbuster bout is poised to become one of the year's most prominent events, capturing the attention of boxing enthusiasts worldwide. The unbeaten lightweight sensation has been steadily rising through the ranks of the sport, captivating fans with his explosive power and engaging personality. He's widely hailed as one of the most thrilling fighters globally, and his upcoming bout against Stevenson promises to deliver an electrifying showdown. Stevenson, the current WBO junior lightweight champion, is a remarkably skilled and versatile boxer, known for his exceptional technical abilities, sharp reflexes, and impressive boxing intelligence. His undefeated record and remarkable career achievements make him a formidable opponent for any contender. The anticipated clash between Garcia and Stevenson holds the potential to become one of the year's most significant fights. Both fighters are currently in their prime, and their fighting styles are perfectly matched, setting the stage for an unforgettable spectacle. This upcoming fight is poised to significantly impact the lightweight division and might lay the groundwork for a potential unification match in the future. Mike Tyson, the legendary former heavyweight champion, has shared his thoughts on the potential showdown between Ryan Garcia and Shakur Stevenson. Tyson believes that Garcia is currently in peak form and would pose a substantial challenge to Stevenson. Tyson emphasized Garcia's current prowess, stating that he's stronger, faster, and more skilled than ever before. He also highlighted Garcia's exceptional physical condition, mentioning that he's in the best shape of his life. According to Tyson, Garcia is primed for a major fight and facing Shakur Stevenson would be an ideal challenge for him. Tyson is of the opinion that Garcia's formidable power and impressive speed would grant him a considerable edge over Stevenson. He also holds the belief that Garcia's prior experience facing and triumphing against top-tier opponents would provide him with the confidence to handle Stevenson's technical skills. According to Tyson, Garcia possesses a finishing instinct, stating that he anticipates Garcia could potentially finish off Stevenson early in the bout. While acknowledging Stevenson's boxing prowess, Tyson notes that Stevenson might not be accustomed to enduring the level of power that Garcia brings to the ring. Tyson boldly predicts that Garcia will astonish the world by defeating Stevenson. Tyson's endorsement of Garcia in a matchup against Stevenson reflects a strong vote of confidence in the young lightweight's potential. It signifies Tyson's belief that Garcia is prepared to elevate his game and contend for significant titles. A showdown between Garcia and Stevenson would pit two of the most thrilling young fighters in the world against each other. It would undoubtedly attract boxing enthusiasts as a must-see event and 
could wield substantial influence within the lightweight division. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.